Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Brianna, AKA Hooked by Brianna. And today we have another themed crochet inspiration video where I will be sharing YouTube tutorials and patterns and I will also have the links provided down below. So make sure you open up the link document so you can follow along and save the things that you do wanna actually crochet. Today is gonna be like grunge, alternative, fairy grunge, anything along those lines, you can find it here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think may need some inspiration or if they're having any issues finding alternative grungy looking crochet pattern. So I also want you to keep in mind that grunge pieces can be basic and we can just create a grunge outfit with it and also yarn and colorways go a long way to classify something as grunge or alternative. So yeah and you can also add some embellishments if you want to. I feel like it's just the overall vibe that makes something grunge, not necessarily just the patterns. But first, let's go ahead and get into the tops. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so first we have the Trip NYC sweater by Chiz Does Things. This is a free YouTube tutorial. I mean, I think this screams alternative, like emo vibes. I think it's really cool. And I really love the colorway, how it is already and I definitely recommend this one. Next we have the Hapagot Overlay Top by Crafty Hija. This is a written PDF pattern and it is made to measure. So it's very size inclusive. You can make it for any size. And I really love how the spiral is. I feel like this is perfect for the summertime or spring and it's a great layering piece. Right now it is 11.57 and it is recommended for intermediate to advanced beginners who want a challenge. So yeah. Now we have this top down sweater. This is one of the basic pieces I was talking about, but you just have to imagine how far a basic piece can elevate an outfit. It is free and you can probably wear this any season. And it also has a free written like graphic that you can use. It's a one page document. It's like handwritten and it's really cute. But once you watch the tutorial for the first time, you could probably get by by just using the little graphic. Next we have Quiet Moon Top by Azora Shop and this is a written PDF made to measure pattern and this is a really cute design. I think this could be for any aesthetic really but I think with this colorway it looks pretty good for like an alternative outfit. Right now it's $9.50 and is recommended for intermediate to advanced beginners who want a challenge again. Next we have this sleeveless, sleeveless asymmetrical top by Coral J and this is also a free YouTube tutorial and this one looks like knit. I love crochet things that look like knit because I can't knit but I love the look of it so it just makes me feel a little bit better about myself. But the back of this is really cute too so I made sure I included a picture of both sides so highly recommend that. Next we have the Pay Fixie Vest. So this is more of like the fairy grunge I was talking about, but I really love stuff like that. I have so many jackets like this and I never saw anything crocheted like this before. I think it's so cute and you should definitely check out Earth Tricks Etsy page because all of their stuff looks like this. Like it's amazing. This is $9 and this is a fun pattern to experiment with different textures. As you can see, there's so many different things going on, but all of these colors work so well together. And I feel like you can make a lot of cool color combinations. Next, we have the Star Girl, the Star Girl Top by Janie. And this is a free YouTube tutorial. I think this is just a staple piece, really. Like This is a good basic. I mean, it's not that basic, but it's a cute little graphic top that you can incorporate with any outfits. I think it looks really good, like how they styled it in this picture. And right now it is also has a written pattern available for $4.80 if you don't like following YouTube tutorials. Next we have the Ophelia Top by It's Stitched by Emma. This is a written made to measure PDF pattern and it is recommended for advanced beginners. Right now it is $11. So I think this is really cute, especially with the yarn that she chose to use. And I think it very much picks up the alternative or like even a witchy vibe. So it's pretty cute. Next, we have another star top. If you don't like the ribbing on the other one, here's another way you can practice using graphs. And it's also more of an open knit. I know it's crochet, but I don't know how to explain it. But it's more of a meshy top. So if you prefer that, you can use the star top by Mew and it's a free YouTube tutorial. 
Next we have the Mesh Cardi by Gabriella's Yarn. This one again can go for a lot of different aesthetics, but I think in white or black or brown or whatever, it can really look good with a grungy alternative outfit. So yeah, this is a written made to measure pattern and it is $10.08 right now and recommended for beginners to advanced beginners. Next we have this Distress Crochet Top by Belina Bellwood. All of her stuff is so good, like, and her videos look so clean and nice. So yeah, I think this is a good layering piece or a cool statement piece that you can use, and it's a free YouTube tutorial. Next we have the Coliseum Crop Top by Ed's, Ed's FR, I'm not gonna say Ed's FR. I mean, maybe that's what it is, but I feel like that's not what it is. But this is a written PDF pattern. It is $9.22 and it's recommended for adventurous beginners to and advanced beginners or above of course and I really think this colorway is really cute and I think in like a black like a gradient something like that will look really nice you know I always have to throw my stuff in there so we have the ethereal top by me it's a free YouTube tutorial and it's very versatile for cold and warm weather so you can wear like a long sleeve shirt under it or you could just wear it as it is and then of course, oh, the picture's not loading for whatever reason, but it is this hooded cardigan. Sorry about that, but it is also a free tutorial. It's also in the picture before. So if you wanna see what it's like, it has a hood in the back. So highly recommend it, super easy too. And it pairs well with the ethereal top and any other outfits like my little grunge outfit I have going on right now. Just show y'all real quick. So yeah, um, and next we have the Harake Mesh Sweater by Crafty Hija, and this is a written made to measure PDF pattern. Um, this is $12.34 and it is recommended for intermediate crocheters. I think this is perfect for the fall seasons or any transitional season, even the winter time, or if you go to the beach in the summer. I guess it's very versatile and can be used in any season. But yeah, I really love it in brown. I think it'll also look good in like a gray, black, white, any basic color that you can get a lot of wear out of. At this point, I'm gonna fix it. So here we have the Slash Top by Amish Universe. This is also a free YouTube tutorial and it is perfect for beginners. And I think this is a really cute top for the summertime, springtime, or you could wear like a cardigan or something over it, flannel, and that could work too in any cold seasons. And next we have this Distress Chain Top by Ladin Sarah Crochets. This is also a free YouTube tutorial. A lot of these are free YouTube tutorials. So I hope y'all are happy about that. And this will be great. It's a great statement piece for basic outfits. I think this one will look really cool in like a black, okay. Around basic colors that I've been saying in every listing. And next we have this Mohair Bolero by Amazing Ish Grace, and this is a free YouTube tutorial. Again, boleros are very versatile, can't go wrong with that, but I really like how this one is made, and I really love mohair pieces. Next we have this Off the Shoulder Top by Yay Gia. And this is a YouTube tutorial that is free and I love how flattering it is, like how it singes in at the waist and I also like how it looks like it's knit and yeah. Next we have this Spring Cardigan by Chisses Things again. This artist is very, very alternative, like they have a lot of cool alternative patterns on their channel so you should definitely check it out. And this one is beginner friendly and it's a great staple piece. Next, I'm sure you've seen the infamous eye sweater before. This is by Pixel Presents. It's a free tutorial, but there's also a written pattern available. And then next we have the star sweater by Hannah Drapinski. This is a free tutorial as well. And I really love this colorway specifically or like a green and beige would go really nice too. And then again by Hannah Drapinski, we have the spiral sweater. Um, I think in like a red and black, white and black, brown and white, brown and black, any of those colorways will look really cool. And this is also a free YouTube tutorial that is beginner friendly. Next, we have my 
other pattern. This is the airy mohair sweater. And I also teach you how to make the hooked part. I think the hooked part makes it look really grungy or whatever. It's also a free YouTube tutorial and it could look cool in a darker colorway too, but I really love that colorway specifically. And next we have our bottoms. So here we have this houndstooth stitch skirt. This just screams rock star to me. I love it so much and it's very versatile. It's by Shyler Crochets and it is a free YouTube tutorial but there is also a written pattern available. And next we have the granny mini skirt. This is by Iridescent Sav Zero and this is a written made to measure PDF pattern for only $3.75. I don't know about y'all but this skirt has been all over my Pinterest page so I have to make sure I included it in this video. And this is a great challenge for beginners. I think this is the last one I included for myself, but this is a cargo mini skirt by me and it's also a free YouTube tutorial so make sure you check that out very versatile too and it can really elevate any outfit by adding a new texture that isn't like very basic for a cargo look. Next we have these mesh pants by Wooly Lynx and this is a free tutorial but there's also a written pattern available. I think this will look really cool in a black color like kind of like a rock star leather pants type of vibe or I guess any color could work but I think black or brown like a dark brown will look really cool and then we have this mesh skirt which is the same vibe as the pants but in skirt form it is by the same artist but their Etsy name is Wooly Links and their YouTube name is Simple Crochet Designs but this is also a free YouTube tutorial and it can be made at any length so it doesn't have to be a mini skirt I think a midi skirt will look pretty cool too Next we have the Emerald set by Iridescent Sav Zero. I didn't include the top because this is in the bottom section and I just wanted to highlight the bottom to it. This has been in one of my past um, inspiration videos before but I think this really fits the grunge -y aesthetic too. This one is a made to measure pattern that is $4.50 and it is recommended for intermediate crocheters. Next we have scrap pants. So this is a cool way to use up extra yarn that you may have. And this is by Kineski Crochet. And this is also a free YouTube tutorial and beginner friendly. And then lastly we have our accessories. So we have this shoulder bag by Daniela. This is a free YouTube tutorial. Again this one can go for any aesthetic. Anyone could use a basic shoulder bag but I think this one is really cool. Oh, and there's also a written pattern available. And then we have this fishnet stocking pattern by Simple Crochet Designs again. And this is a YouTube tutorial. And there are written instructions that viewers have added to the comment section if you don't want to watch the video. And next we have lace gloves. This is by Handmade by May. And this is also a free YouTube tutorial. Again, this is another basic piece you can really add to any outfit. And instead of buying some fishnets, you can just make them yourself. Next we have the Skeleton Harness. This is by Amy Bobami Crafts and it is $6. It is a written PDF pattern that is beginner friendly and I don't know what else to say about it. It's cool. And then we have the Eleonora Waistcoat by Toby Crochets. I really really love this one. I love the ruffles and I feel like it'll really make you look good in any outfit. I think it's very flattering and this is a written made to measure PDF pattern that is $11.79 right now and it is recommended for advanced beginners and above. And then next, this is the best picture I could get of it to be honest from the thumbnail, but this is a star messenger bag that you can see at the bottom of the screen and it is a free YouTube tutorial and it is inspired by Crochet by Cami. So yeah. And that is the last piece. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully I hit the aesthetic y'all wanted on the nail. I was kind of nervous about this one because I didn't want y'all to come for me saying this is not grunge. That's why I added like alternative, fairy grunge, those other keywords just in case because I'm not 100% sure. But when I googled it, it said like grunge like rock star. So I was like maybe I'll add alternative in there too because I feel like not all of them are rock star. But I feel like a good bit of them are. But I hope it was helpful nonetheless. And comment down below what aesthetics you want to see next. I know a lot of people wanted hippie or maybe a coquette 
cottage core stuff like that so i'll definitely try to do those in the future which i am also really excited about because i love to play around with different aesthetics thank y'all so much for tuning into this video like comment and subscribe and make sure you support all of these artists that i mentioned in the video bye guys